welcome to marine engineering hub today we are going to talk about the oil cooled piston basically this topic will be covered in three part first oil cooled piston in first part in second part i will cover the water cooled piston and in third part i will tell you about the advantages and disadvantages of water cooling and oil cooling okay so let's begin the first part as you can see in this slide this is mainly represent the soldier oil cooled piston okay first i am going to show you soldier oil piston and then i will show you the man bendel oil piston okay so first let's see the material used for the oil cooled piston mainly the piston crown is made of made up of heat resisting chromium molybdenum alloy steel okay this uh, crown is made up of heat resisting chromium molybdenum alloy steel one thing i want to tell you that me, me, most of the component of the marine diesel engine used which is subjected to high temperature and combustion are made up of alloy steel with a component of mainly chromium molybdenum and nickel you you can see okay so because of that this uh, crown is mainly made up of that okay now piston skirt as it is not subjected to high temperature as compared to the piston crown therefore it is chromium plate it, it is mainly cast iron made okay so to save the cost of the construction and and therefore it is made of cast iron okay now the groove as the groove is subjected to repeated in and out movement of the piston ring as it passes through the surface of liner because of uneven wear the groove is also subject to banging force up and down movement during the combustion and during the echo stroke okay so therefore it need to be also chromium plated to resist the wear okay so mainly chromium is provided for the wear resistance okay so this is how the mainly the construction is done now let's see how the oil cooling oil is flowing so this is the central bore okay and this is the nozzle means this is the nozzle okay nozzle point and uh, this is the lower part of the skirt and low this is the piston rod which is connected through piston skirt by the long stud okay now let's see this here as you can see the cooling oil is flowing from this here okay this hole and it is going through this and through nozzle it is injecting on the inner surface of the piston crown okay this dedicated grooves is been made in such a way that why it is made it is made in such a way and it made because so that the cooling can be carried out to the internal part of the piston crown and the oil can be carried to the as near as to the piston crown for that reason this groove is been made and through nozzle effect pressurized oil splashing is been done to ensure quick heat removal okay and the oil is flowing from here it is going it is cooling and then from central bore it is returning back okay so in this diagram as i as you can see this is the outer rim okay and here the nozzles are installed this nozzles are installed okay and this is fitted here like this okay the so wind and after splashing the oil is cool the oil which is cause cooling has cooled the piston crown is coming back and returning from central bore drill hole so this is how the oil cool piston in soldier rt engine work okay now let's move to the man bmw as you can see this is a man bmw mc piston okay this man bmw mc piston is also made up of same on the component construction is almost same the piston crown is chromium molybdenum alloy steel the piston skirt is cast iron and the groove is chromium plated same reason as i have told you in soldier but one more thing what uh, in uh, earlier in mc series engine and smaller engine an inconal coating was made on the top part of the piston crown to provide additional wear resistance what is inconal inconal coating is mainly consisting of component of nickel chromium alloy 
on the top part of the crown to have a better wear resistance and uh, better life cycle to increase life cycle of the crown basically this is done just inconal coating of 8 mm is mainly provided and we used we have uh, we used to take the thickness reading over a period of time and as the wear rate increases and it exceeded the manufacturer reading means as it decreases means if the coating has become around 2 3 mm then we have to discard the piston crown or we have to reinstall the coating for by sending it to the reconditioning okay so now let's see how the cooling of the man bear nipple is occurring here basically in soldier what in man bear what is happening the oil is flowing from center the oil is flowing from center and it is going here and it is cooling this internal part okay this is growing and after means the oil which is coming from here it is filling up this space this whole space is almost filled up and after that it is coming out from here and then it is turning back to the to this path okay so this is where the oil is going and this way it is returning so one more thing i want to tell you that in man bmw what is happening when the piston is suppose moving in down in bdc toward bdc at that time the oil which is accumulated here will splash on the lower surface of the inner surface of the piston crown and it will extract the heat and it will go out from here means whenever it is moving down the oil which is accumulated here will splash and take out the heat and will have will come out from here and will move down so this way it is cooling the piston okay now one more thing i want to tell you that mainly a, mainly a doubt occur that how the piston rod is connected mainly the piston rod is made up of hollow forged steel with consisting of three tubes mainly okay this is the outer tubes then second tube this one and this is the third tube okay so mainly this is th three tube which is installed in a piston crown for providing the path of oil flow okay so this is how the oil cool piston work i hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment below i will clear it please share my video and please like it and please subscribe my channel okay thank you friend ms credit goes to mindel.uk